Oh, look at that. We're going to front wheel drive. Oh, we're freaking pimped. We are pimped out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ho, ho. What's up, friends? This is KJ48, and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic. All right, guys, we are back. I did my first three videos in one bulk lump sum, <laughs> and I did read all your comments, and thank you for your comments. Thank you for the tips. Uh, I'm going to go over a couple tips here. First thing I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to show you this. Now, no one gave me a tip on this. I figured it out myself. Um, first of all, after the last video, I went all the way back to my ship, grabbed every single thing out of my ship, and brought it all here, okay? I actually went ahead and made the... The crafting bot thingy-mabob, okay? And we're going to look at that in a moment. But when I was driving around, I did kind of turn over my vehicle. Now, this right here, I didn't do. Whenever I log in, this thing, like, half of the time <laughs> kind of turns over on its own. So what you want to do is you, you go on your lift thingy, and you just left-click, and left-click. And thank you, developer, for, like, thinking of that. Because, man, when my, when my vehicle flipped, I was like, oh, my God, no. No! It felt like Darth Vader, you know? No! Okay, maybe we shouldn't reference that. That was horrible. Anyway, <laughs> this freaking this freaking thing sucks. Um, <laughs> because of the wheels. You know, I was thinking when I made this, uh, I was thinking to myself, I didn't say it, but I was thinking to myself, I'd probably be better off running around, all right? Because you can, go, you can get around faster. The thing is, if you don't run around, if you, like, have a, like, a vehicle, look at all the stuff you can get. By the way, I grabbed these lights from that, like... That little dive stop place, um, you guys probably noticed about those lights. I grabbed the lights from there, um, and I grabbed everything from the ship. Uh, but the thing is, if, if you take a, if you take a vehicle around, you could put a bunch of stuff on it. So that's a pretty good reason to bring a vehicle around, I think. All right, uh, let's go over some tips here. Uh, so okay, so planting crops. Okay, uh, the losing of the crops was not a bug; it's a game feature. Okay, and it might even say it somewhere in here. I should probably go. Th uh, I honestly, I've looked, I've skimmed through this, but I haven't really gone through it. Um, I gotta look at the farming stuff. It probably says it in here somewhere. Uh, but you guys told me in the comments when you plant crops, uh, you mu when you plant crops, you must them before I think harvest them before midnight or farm bots. Um, by the way, they're not called farm bots. I think they're called like hay bots or something. Someone was saying, "Damn it!" I, I looked it up and then I didn't write it down. I'm pretty sure they're called hay bots. Anyway, um, or far well, no, actually, farm bots are different than hay bots. I think farm bots are the. Sp I don't really know which one's which. All I know is robots will come after to destroy your crops. All right. If you plant more than nine crops, you'll get a countdown timer to midnight and get a, de a great deal of uh, farm bots. Oh, okay. So there you go. Every every um every continuous night of farming increases the size of the swarm of bots. So here's my question, guys. And this is probably a dumb question because I'm, I'm pretty sure I know the answer. But if I build a base with like walls and stuff, can the enemies destroy the walls? I'm almost positive they can. Otherwise, what's the problem? You just build a wall around your farm and it's Minecraft. You know, you're good to go. Um, I'm pretty sure they could destroy it. So I think every, am I right? Every night at midnight, I'm gonna have to go out and protect my farm. Oh boy. Um, okay. Well, you know, there's that. Uh, also, and this is, a, this is a really cool uh, tip right here. You can use water buckets, um, on the hay bots to stun them for five seconds. So I think the farm bots are the small bots and the hay bots are the big ones. Eh, that's kind of what I'm thinking right now. So, uh, that's great. That's a great tip though, man. I love, it stuns them for five seconds. That means they're dead. That's like, I'm going to kill them. And there ain't a damn thing they can do about it. And that is freaking awesome. Now, with this whole with this whole craft bot thing, this is called a craft bot. The thing in my ship was called a craft bot. And this is called a craft bot. They, they, should, they should be Mark 1, Mark 2, or maybe they, this is the same one as in my ship. So this one should be the Mark 1. This one should be a Mark 2. Because I didn't know. How would I know that this was, <laughs> this was going to be some crazy freaking bot? Uh, I can make all kinds of stuff. Uh, here's, the, here's the items I was looking at. Those are actually metal blocks. So I'm going to need some more metal for that. So I think what we're going to do is we need to find some chests. So let me see. Is there a search option? I don't see any kind of search option. And there is an upgrade option, but I don't know if it shows you what you get if you upgrade. I'm assuming I can craft all of this. All right. But the first... Oh, here we go. There's a chest. Oh, God. I'm going to need a lot of metal for chests. Oh, a headlight. Cool. Oh, that's that's not for my... Well, I don't think I can put that on my head, but maybe I can. Um, yeah, we're gonna need a lot of metal, and we're gonna need whatever that is, and that is... Oh, we're gonna have to go swimming. Okay, great. What does a bucket take? Eh, a bucket's kind of expensive, too. Oh my god, it's getting dark. Well, I don't have a farm, so I don't really have to worry about this. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to organize. You can see right here, I did do a lot of farming in episode 3 and everything. And not farming farming, but I mean grabbing resources. Uh, although, building this took a lot of my resources, so... I don't know. Uh, first things first, let's go ahead and sleep in the bed to make sure I have a spawn point. Um, I also want to see if this, uh, I guess, hay bot 
Uh, is this going to respawn in here? I don't think so. Yeah, he doesn't respawn. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and do that. And this will give me a place to sleep. And it will also... It's not going to pass the night, but it will give me a respawn point. All right, I think what I want first and foremost is the refinery bot. The problem is getting... the. By the way, this is not just for wood. This is for everything. So let's say I'm out in the world and I'm killing a bunch of um, hay bale bots or whatever the hell they're called. Hay bots or, you know, whatever. Um, I, I want to put their legs on my vehicle uh, to bring them back home, right? But that's not going to work uh, because I need a bigger vehicle. And then I was thinking about some other things I could do with the vehicle. Uh, let, me just grab, let me grab everything off here for maximum storage while we're out and about. And then I was thinking of other things I could do with the vehicle. And I actually saw someone uh, like make a vehicle that like kind of drills stuff. And then this thing right here picks up the stone and brings it back. Uh, but then I'm thinking, like, where is all that stuff? Like, where is all the stuff that I can use to make vehicles? None of these are like vehicle bots, right? So... Then I was thinking, I think we might have to upgrade um, the, the, I think we might have to upgrade the craft bot. Uh, does it show you? I, I'm pretty sure I can make everything I can see. Okay. And what I'm, oh, oh, hold on. What is this? Interactive. Uh, sensors. Oh, oh, here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Where's the wheels? Where's the freaking wheels? I mean, am I looking at them? I feel like they should be on this page and I'm just missing them. All right. So the wheels are in the parts tab. And I'm going to need a lot more metal, basically. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get some metal. We're probably going to also want to get some of that. I want to make a chest as well. Uh, I forget where chests are. That's inter interactive right there. Um, and in order to get chests, we're going to need some more clams. So we need to kill some baddies and get some clams. I am going to take my vehicle, even though it's pretty slow. Uh, but it will allow me to, you know, uh, put more stuff on it. You know, like I was saying earlier. Um, which will allow me to, like, bring stuff home. Like with the arms, right? When I get those robot arms, I'm eventually going to want to bring them home because it takes me a long time to refine... Is that really worth it, though? Is it is it really worth it to bring them home and not just refine them out in the world? I don't know. Maybe maybe the idea is you're supposed to put the refinery thing on your ship. Or on your, on your ship. On your vehicle. I think you're supposed to make some pretty crazy-ass vehicles in the game. Um, I'm also going to be looking out for a place for my farm... And I kind of want my farm right next to my base. The problem making my farm right next to my base is that um, it's going to be, you know, hard. It's going to be a pain in the ass to get water up there. So I'm thinking maybe you can make the farm out back of this shed over here. And we could use that shed right there um, as parts to make the farm. Now, the problem with making the farm away from your base is you got to come out and defend it every mi uh, every day at midnight, I'm guessing. That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. So, we're not going to make the farm today, though. I'm just kind of scouting out um, spots for it. Although, I, it doesn't seem like I have a lot of food with me. Uh, that could be a mistake. But I think we're going to do doing some looting today. So, probably get some food and everything. And then we'll get back and do some building. I'm also going to cut out a good amount of looting. Because, I mean, it's been all looting so far. Let's see if this is a good... Ugh, I, I, I'm never going to stop doing that, by the way. <laughs> anyway. Alright. So, by the way, this is, I think, where I got the lights from. What is that? I'll take that. Looks like an air conditioner or something. Oh, no, this is not where I got the lights from. But the place I did get the lights looked kind of like this place. Do not enter. Hard work pays off. Okay. Yeah, so what I could do is I can make the farm right over here. Or maybe I can even make the farm right here. And just use this. I mean, I could probably take this apart and make the farm right where this thing stands. Honestly. And that's probably what I'll do. Oh, while I'm here, why don't we go ahead and put that up there. And let's get some water. So we could throw some water on those robots. Make them even easier to kill. Man, I'm going to have to farm a lot of robots. By the way, there was a wheel outside this um, outside this building. And if it's the same for every game, just in case you want to see if there's a wheel out there for you, it was right here in that corner. So I only have to make three wheels. I think we're going to make some wheels, man. I want to I want to get this thing up to snuff. Um, all right, so we need to make these right here. What's the output? Is the output like one? Or... Well, I made two of them. Oh, the output's 10. Beautiful. I was like, those are really expensive, but the output's 10, so that's not too bad. By the way, um, upgrading this, as far as I can tell, doesn't give you new blocks. It just gives you um, the ability to craft more stuff at one time. So I'm going to go ahead and up... Oh, two. Yeah. Well, they both said level two, obviously. So in order to make the um, the wheels, I'm going to need a lot more beehive thingies. Um, I think it would be like six of the honey or something for one of the wheels, I believe. Um... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. So we're gonna we're gonna look for some more beehives while we have the daytime. I could also do some swimming for some clams. I did throw some water on uh, one of the robots, and it doesn't like stun them for five seconds. It stuns them for like two seconds, and as soon as they get up, they automatically hit you. So I don't think it's really worth um, doing that. One thing I do know is you can feed the cows corn and get milk, right? Eat that, eat that corn. There you go. There you go. Give me some milk, bro. 
Give me some milk. Don't make me cave your head in. I don't want to cave your head in. I wonder how good milk is, though. I mean, it better be good because I'm using a lot of corn. There we go. We now have some wok milk. There you go. Beautiful. Give me some more wok milk, bro. Corn's all over the place, by the way, in the wild. There we go. Okay. All right, no more corn for you. Thanks for the milk. Appreciate it. Hopefully no, robot, no robots kill you. Now, I have found one uh, thing of beehives, but that was it's pretty far away. Um, and I'm hoping to find some that are a little bit closer, and I don't know how long they take to respawn. I did do a Google search on it, and the only thing I heard is, like, uh, they're on the side of boulders or something. So, eh, this could be a uh, little time-consuming. Let me see what I can find. All right, I don't know if these things spawn in the same spots all the time, but I did find some. And just to give you a point of reference, this is that little shack, uh, that, like, um, farm shack that I'm going to turn into my farm. And then if you go this way, I see, I see some beehives. At least I think I did. Hopefully I wasn't imagining it. I might have been imagining it. I don't think I was, though. Let's come up here and take a look. Pretty sure I saw some beehives. Yeah, there they are. Oh, wow, quite a few. Okay. By the way, they're not, they don't grow on these rocks. I've been, t I've, I've read, they do not grow on these rocks. These are ones you can harvest. They gotta be the ones you can't harvest. And how am I supposed to get that one all the way up there? Well, I know exactly how I'm gonna get that one all the way up there. Come on. All right, why are we even playing games here? We got a lift, let's use it. The lift, it's not just for getting you out of combat problems. So it's kind of weird, and I'm not saying I want it to happen. But it's kind of weird that the um, the bees don't attack you. I thought for sure they would attack you. I think the developers... Uh, I don't know. You know what? Never mind. I don't want the bees to attack me. I want wheels. <laughs> That's what I want. All right. Can we get up to that one? Can you... um? Can I get on that rock? There is fall damage. I don't think I'm going to make this. Oh, look at that. Look at me go. Uh, oh, beautiful. Oh, this is great. This is great. Hardcore parkour. There you go. Doesn't look like it's broken, but I guess it is. We'll do this. And we might take some damage here, but... Nope, no damage. Alright, it's all coming up cages. Let's see if I can find a few more. So we're here at my base, and I just want you guys to look... Like I said, I, I'm. this is a set world, I know that. I don't know if the spawns are set. But, just in case they are, you see that hill right there? The other, the opposite side of that hill is exactly where I got those... Um, those beehives. There's even another one right there that I, I grabbed as well. I should have enough for three for three wheels, which is going to make things a lot easier. And um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So let's come on over here and let's see what's what. All right, wheel. I already have one. That's two. That's three. And I thought I had enough for all of them. Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't pick up all the bee stuff. Okay. Uh, well, I don't have enough metal either, unfortunately. But that shouldn't be too hard to get. Let's. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get some more metal. That's it, man. And then we'll have... I mean, I could make a three-wheeler. <laughs> Maybe just put one wheel in front, two in the back. Could be pretty dope. But, nah, we're gonna we're gonna go with four wheels. Because I'm gonna mess around. There we go. You are not the ones I need, by the way. So these are the farm bots, right? And the other ones are the hay bots. That's what I'm going with right now. I believe that is correct. There should be a hay bot somewhere around here. There usually is. Let me, uh, let me get them. Get what I need and we'll go make some wheels. Okay, we should have everything we need. Alright, so there's three, there's two, there's three. And... Wait, I looted them. Why didn't... Hold on. Oh, that's wood. Okay, I didn't even need the extra metal. That was wood. Okay, still getting used to the, the look of the blocks. Yeah, that was wood. It looks kind of like the metal one a little bit, but, you know, I'll get used to it. I guess in like six months I'll be like... God, I can't believe I ever thought that was metal. <laughs> oh, well. You know, we could always use more metal. So, time was not wasted. Uh, okay, so we just got to pick up two more of these. My old um, honey. And there we go. There's our fourth wheel. Okay. Well, that's being made. We are going to go ahead and put this thing on the old jack. Like so. And then we are going to go ahead and lift it up. There we go. And we're going to take the tires off, put the good tires on, and see what the difference is. I mean, it's got to be, like, really good. I mean, it's like, this is, I'm expecting this to be just ridiculous. All right, so there we go, and there we go. All right, so let's go ahead. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. 
All right, plug you right there. Oh, doggy. Those are some good looking wheels. Hell yeah. Okay, me likey. Okay, now we just have to hook them up. Well, they're already automatically... Oh, that's right. They don't hook up to the wheels. They hook up to the bearings, which is great. That means I don't have to do anything with that. Oh, it's wonderful. All right, cool. Let's give this thing some gas. Uh, which means you have to drag this down here. Put this right here. Give it a couple things of gas. I only put a few things of gas in there just in case I ever forget to turn it off. It's wasting less gas that way. All right. There oh, my God. Oh, this is so much better. This is so much better. Oh man, can we make a better seat engine? What do you think I should do first? What? What? I wonder what the um, the I mean, the engine would be the thing I want, right? Is it more efficient, or does it just make you go faster? I, I don't know. Oh, that's that is so nice. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can do another upgrade. All right, now in order to make metal block two, um, I'm gonna need embers. Now I know where there's embers. It's way back at my ship. Is that the only place in the world to get embers though? Seems kind of weird, right? And do they respawn? Because otherwise, you've got a very limited amount of embers. All right, so we're looking at the seat right here. I don't know what the hell that is. I think it has something to do with cotton or something, but I don't know what it is. I looked through this, couldn't find it. Um, although, I could have just missed it, but I don't know. I really don't know what that is, so any information on that would be great. Um, the engine, I'm going to need crude oil, so that's what we're going to go get right now. Or should we wait until the morning? Now nah, we're going to go get it right now. The hell with it. I don't, is, there any, is there anything in the, in the water that can hurt me? I don't think there is. So, except for oxygen. <laughs> Lack of oxygen can hurt me, but, you know, that's up to me. And being it being dark isn't really going to hurt. Isn't going to matter really that much uh, as far as oxygen goes. It's not like I'm going to drown because I don't know. It's too dark, right? So, I don't think the darkness really matters. So, the crude oil, if you remember me, I, if you remember last uh, video, or was it the video before? I don't remember, but one of these videos, I got the crude oil and it was freaking awesome. Uh, it's just, you just go down there and you just kind of mine it right off the top of the things. It probably respawns too, I'm imagining. Uh, we need a switch for the, actually I have a switch. I should probably hook up a switch to turn off that engine. It would probably be more engaging than what I'm doing right now. Also, people told me there's underwater, um, caves to explore. Now, I, there, there's a crude oil. Yeah, we're going to make an engine today. The thing with the underground, um, with the underground, uh, what does this give? What is that? Oh, clams. I need clams, too. There we go. Crude oil. Um, I guess the idea is that it's just, like, crude oil clumped up on the edge. Yeah, we need clams really bad. Um, no, what, what the hell was I saying? Oh, yeah. I, I have a serious, like, um, anxiety issue with being in caves underwater. And I know it's not real life, Cage. I get it. But I'm going to wait until I get some scuba gear before I go swimming in underwater caves. Unless there's caves I definitely can do, you know, without giving me a heart attack. But... I don't know. I kind of feel like it'd be it'd be more fun to do it after you get the scuba, the scuba equipment from Scooby Steve. Yeah, not Adam Sandler's best movie, but it was all right. It was all right. Yeah, I mean, it's no Water Boy or you know, Happy Gilmore, but it's it's pretty good. I mean, hell, man, Water Boy and Happy Gilmore was the epitome of that guy's um, entire career, at least for me. All right, so let's go. Ahead. Let's have a drink. Actually, you know what? Let's see what the cow milk gives us. Eh, you know, is that really worth the corn? Because he eats like two or three things of corn. Wait, you can eat corn, can't you? You can't eat corn? Really? Walks love to eat corn. Wow, so that's just for them. Interesting. That's kind of weird you can't eat corn. I mean, obviously you'd want to cook it, but yeah, that's odd. I had a bunch of corn with me thinking my hunger would be taken care of, but not so much. Um, means I gotta, I gotta feed those walks more often. Well, the fact that I can't eat it now, I'll just, I'll just give them all my corn to hell with it, right? All right, let's pick that up. I'm enjoying this game a lot more in Episode 4. Um, I was out of sorts in Episodes 1 through 3. I liked it, but I was just kind of out of sorts. I'm having a much better time now. Ah, look at that. Caught a fish, baby. Can I eat you? What does it say? Where is he? Oh, he's just in my hands, right? I can't. Okay. All right, fine. You can go. I'm not going to kill him. What, the, what am I, some kind of monster? He's so cute. He's too cute to kill. I'll have to wait until I'm hungrier. Right, let's grab some more crude oil. Yeah, we're definitely going to get that engine made today. You best believe that. I stayed down there pretty much all night. Grabbed a lot of stuff. 
Um, also, when I came up, I, I couldn't find my vehicle for a couple minutes. So I'm like, oh my god, tell me it didn't like roll. I don't think this thing comes with a parking brake. I was like, man, tell me it didn't roll into the freaking water right after I put wheels on it. Uh, I was I was getting a little bit mini panic thing, and then I, and then I found it, so it was it was not a big deal. Okay, and there we go. Does it have brakes? What's the brake control? I don't know. Usually, brake brake control is um spacebar. That's why I have no clue. Okay, anyway, I went ahead and fed a bunch of cows, too, and got a bunch more milk, which is freaking awesome. Came out with nine clams and 17 coal, um, uh, what do you call it? Came out with 17 crude oil. Okay, so we just need a few more of these blocks. How many do I need? Uh, I'm, gonna have to, I'm gonna need two sets of them. So there we go, one and two. That'll give me 20. And we're going to grab... I think we needed one of these or a couple of these. What else do we need for that? Parts. Engine. No, interactive engine. Uh, that's everything. Cool. Now we're just waiting for the stuff. Give me my stuff, bro. One more. Oh, we got two of the three things upgraded on this thing today. That's a lot more than I thought I was going to get to. What is this? Electric engine. Hmm. I, w I wouldn't know how to give that power. So... Uh, a weak engine uh, with an adjustable speed can be connected to a driver's seat. Oh, okay, interesting. Um, adjustable power. I, oh, an engine with fixed speed and adjustable um, power. Ideally suited for powering vehicles can be connected to a driver's seat or trigger upgrade more connection points. Okay, it does have more connection points, which I, which means I can give my vehicle front wheel drive as well, I think. So, what is this? Okay, stay focused, Gage. Stay focused, bro. All right, so what we're going to do now is we are going to grab this one and take that out, and we'll pick that up. And we'll still have that scrap engine for later if we want to use it for something. And we'll just, I guess, put it right here for now. There we go. Nice little... You know, it, it's kind of organized, honestly. I wonder if I could stack these. These are um, these are for the chest, by the way. Uh, parts. No, what was that under? Tool. Interactive. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see, I need it for this stuff. Uh, actually, I should make the better chest, shouldn't I? Yeah, it definitely should. It, does it, um, great for storing a lot of items, can also be used for, uh, with a vacuum pump. Oh, can, can you use this one? Oh, you can't use that one with a vacuum pump. Oh, interesting. Okay, alright, I'm gonna have to look into that. Um, I wish it would tell you, maybe it does and I'm missing it. I wish it would tell you how much, like, storage it has. Like, what's the difference? Is it double? Is it, like, four more spots? Is it five more spots? Like... Uh, all I see is weight durability, friction, buoyancy, and flammability, and I don't see anything else about it, so. Uh, oh, a thruster. Oh, my goodness. Oh, er, my God. Let me go ahead and turn off my uh, timer. And, um, oh, I put my, uh, my things over here, my, my, uh, cow drink thingies over here, but I put them backwards because I was just putting them down quickly. I'm going to start the farm. Uh, maybe I'll start the farm next video. I'm not really sure, honestly. Uh, like I said, I'm waiting for your comments because I want to know. Um, I did some research, but it was hard to find out. I basically have to go out every single night at midnight and defend my farm. Is that the case? All right. Give me that, please. And let's go ahead and put it on here. Cool. Okay. Uh, limit. Uh, drag to just What is limit? What is this max thing? Like, what, what's up with... Oh, you can upgrade the... Frick oh, my God. That is unbelievable. Oh, more bearings. Oh, you know what? Let's upgrade that. Let's upgrade that. I am running low on these things, though. Which is a surprise. I feel like I get them a lot. Oh, one more. Yeah, we've only got four left. Okay. Alright, so let's give this thing some gas. Alright. Uh, one, two... Three, and let's hook it up to, uh, wait, hold on, hold it down and drag it. Oh, do you have to actually hook this up to the lights? I didn't think you did. No, you don't have to hook this up to the lights. Right there. Oh, look at that, we're gonna front wheel drive. Oh, we're freaking pimped! We are pimped out! Whoa, 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 whoa! Ho! Oh! Okay, I'm not really sure. <laughs> oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. Um, I'm just gonna... Good? We good. Okay. Oh, boy. 
All right, so I figured it out. You have to hook up the engine to the steering column so they could talk to each other. Makes sense. I don't think I had to do that for the scrap one, though, which is kind of weird. Or maybe I did, and I just don't remember. Um, so here's one other question I have before the end of the video. And I don't remember what the heck it was. Um, <laughs> oh, boy, what was it? Oh, yeah, okay, so here it is. This gas engine, will this use gas? If I'm not, if it's, like, powered, and I just leave it here. So... I think the scrap engine was always using gas, although maybe it wasn't. I think it was. I don't know. Uh, but I could leave this on like that, right? And it, it won't use gas unless I'm using it, correct? Not really sure. I want to upgrade this as much as possible, too, because the efficiency. Gas is probably going to be a problem. As a matter of fact, do we really want to put that up to the limit? Let's put it down to here and see how well it works. All right. So it's, oh, God. Okay. Okay. You know what? I think we could probably turn it down. All right, there we go. Well, maybe not. Maybe I want to be fast. No, we should definitely turn that down. It's out of control. And I gotta make sure not to hit the space bar at this point. If I hit the space bar, it seems to go flying off. <laughs> it's also using a lot of gas, unfortunately. Um, let's just put it down to there. I definitely want to upgrade it again, uh, just so it uses less gas. But I am liking it, guys. The wheels are cool. The engine's cool. I can't wait to read your comments. You guys get the best tips. And I can't wait to read your comments. What do you think I should do next time? Should I, should I do the farm or do something different? Eh. Let me know in the comments. All right, guys. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy. This thing is dope.